Day three of Cherry Blossom Sessions. I had um, four cancellations this morning because people thought it was going to rain or be too cold. And they canceled, which they paid retainers, so that's okay. But So I have two sessions today with a two-hour gap in between. So I'm going to just run around the cemetery and show you it in some of... Uh, in a different video, I'm gonna vlog that, but I'm gonna vlog the rest of the cherry blossom session today. Tomorrow I have two cherry blossom sessions. One I'm not gonna vlog in this video because I'm gonna make a whole video about it. It's, um, cause Bitly's getting Easter pictures done by my friend, uh, Summer Nights Cosplay. He's got a legitimate, um, Easter Bunny costume, so I'm excited. I didn't wanna fight the hustle and the bustle of the row of trees up there, so today we're shooting down by the pond. It's a little, Less chaotic at the pond. It's still chaotic, but not as chaotic. You can find some good spots where you don't have to fight the people, and they're still really beautiful trees. Um, this is the last weekend of them. They only last about two weeks. Um, as I drove through, I saw them dying, and I was really sad. It's my favorite time of year. But yeah, um, today I have a cute little session with um, a girl named Megan this morning, and then my friend Stacy. You've met her in several of my videos before. Um, Stacy will be joining us for... A cosplay shoot here at one o'clock so i've got a 10 and then a one <laughs> so i'm going to just run around the cemetery and vlog today and then this evening i have a drag show because victoria is stepping down as the inner diva queen from last year and tonight they're crowning a new queen so we're gonna go support that The way they have this <laughs> set up, it looks like a square. It's like squared off with those at the end. I don't know. It looks kind of cool. Here, look at this little boy. This is really cool. Whoever made this is so cool. Born in Covington, Kentucky, September 1867. Entered this life and he died in 1881. His body is laid in this spot to his own request. It's really cool too. This video is a no makeup video because I just was not feeling it today. This one's kind of cool. I don't know what this is. It says Hattie, the devoted and beloved wife of W.D. Hawker who exchanged mortality for life. May 6, 1879, died at 29 years old. She was young. This is really pretty. I'm just slowly gonna make my way across the beaten path to my favorite spot in the cemetery. And as we go, we'll look at some pretty neat stuff. But there's like a good mix in the cemetery. You got like, recent deaths and then you have like your like <laughs> hundreds of years old tombstones in here so we're gonna go this one i don't know much about this they don't really have anything written on the front i'm gonna go to the back but so cute i love this it's really pretty hopefully that's how she was in life that's a great memorial Why is it I am more at peace here than I am in the real world? Really cool. I'm gonna go around the front and see what they say. This is a family, but they're so worn down that you can't read them. Oh wait, this one says Ann Thomas, the wife of, she died in 1912. Look at their detail on the front of these. Somebody planted flowers here for them. I'm assuming this one's a child. No? Yeah, this one this one was a one year old. This 
This one looks neat. I'm gonna go around the front. Merit. Look how pretty that is. She's got a pretty little angel around her neck. I think somebody just put there. Those of you that follow my photography, you might remember this one. Um, Jordan's mom cosplayed the Baba Yaga. I think that's how you say it. And we use this tombstone for part of her shoot. Here's another good one over here. We're going to walk over here. So you may remember this shot. We shot two things here. Victoria's bat, vampire bat, and then we shot Danny's birthday shoot in here. Both photos were published. And I, I, I just want to reiterate, I try to be super respectful when I'm in these places. Because these are people's final resting. They're like their final homes on earth. But I think this one, this one's pain. I feel like this person was of some type of power because look, it's just... The monstrosity this is it's beautiful i'm in love with it i come here i stop by here every time just to look because it's so pretty i like this one too it's like tall over there it's like a mausoleum we're gonna go head that way but yeah i just wanted to come around and show you some of these old spooky things it reminds me of like minecraft or something like a video game the way they built it, I don't know. I play too many games. On the front to see what it says, but it's really cool. It's almost like a tree stump, but in stone. You can't really read it. Born in 1822, died in, I think that's a 72. It would be nice if like, there's a guy on the internet that comes and restores all these old um, tombstones. It'd be nice if he like came here and done some of these. A monument. Over there, we're headed that way though. This one's pretty. Every time I come to shoot and I come over here, um, I get um, the original Haunted Mansion vibes. I don't know why, and maybe that's just the child in me and Disney lover, but that's what I feel. It's just so big. Here's the door. The door is like humongous. And here's inside. I don't think you can go in, but no, you can't go in. I'm a little creeped out, but <laughs> yeah. It's so cool. This is the grave. This is a resting place of Henry Clay. Um, I'll try to read it. It says, Henry Clay, born in Virginia in 1777, came to Lexington at the age of 20 and quickly established a successful law practice. In 1799, he married Lustricia Hart, daughter of one of this city's most prominent families. He served six years in the Kentucky House of Representatives, part of that time a speaker, and filled two unexpired terms in the United States Senate before being elected to the U.S. House in 1811. There he was speaker until 1814, and again from, sorry if it got crooked, 1815 to 1820, and 1823 to 1825. In 1814, he was one of the country's ministers to Ghent, where the treaty with Great Britain was written, ending the War of 1812. From 1825 to 1829, he was Secretary of State under President John Quincy Adams. And from 1831 to 1842, and 1849 to 1852, was U.S. Senator. Throughout his long career, Clay was famed as one of America's greatest statesmen and orators. I don't have my glasses on, guys, so we're reading this kind of blindly. Um... Where did I leave off? And was a candidate for president of the United States in 1824, 1832, and again in 1844. After his death in Washington in 1852, his remains were brought to Lexington for burial. And as he had instructed, the Clay Monument Association financed and erected this memorial, which was completed in 1861, which contains the sarcophagus of Henry Clay and Mrs. Clay, who died in 1864. 
In July 1976, the weather-worn monument restored by the state and local governments was rededicated and enrolled on the National Registry of Historic Places. Oh, wait. Here it is. Here it is. So if you're a history buff, so I'm assuming this big one right here. Yeah. That one's Henry. It won't focus. And then over there must be his wife. In fact, Jim Varney is uh, buried here. He's from Lexington. If you don't know who Jim Varney is, he's the voice of Slinky in Toy Story. Um, he is Ernest, the funny movies Ernest from the 90s. He was a comedian and actor. and um, He died of cancer um, a while back. <laughs> Quite a few years back. But he's buried here. And I was going to do a whole little video on him. John M. Clay, 1821-1887, and Josephine, his wife. And that big one. Oh, Henry Clay's daughter is right here. Eliza C. Clay is right there. I wonder, 1813-1825, she was like 12 years old, I think. Wait, right, 13? Hold on, let me count, do math. No, she was, yeah, she was like 12. I don't know, I can't do math today. I'm math dumb. My attention, E, or F.P. Kincaid. And they have a Bible verse I want you to look up there. I'm not really religious, but this is really pretty. The detail on these. I just, <laughs> This being like new, I just want to know what it looked like when it first was erected. Cause I bet like the detail on it was crazy. So this is Thomas Pendle. Thomas Hart Pendle, a soldier of the War of 1812, a native of Maryland, son of Dr. R. and E. Pendle, died October 15th, 1958 at 68. Their children, their children, Thomas Hart Jr. and Jane died in infancy. His wife died at 34. So this is like a whole family. So this must be more of their children right here, I think. This Miss Sydney S. was um, 74 years old. She... Yeah. This one's cool. It's kind of like a little pyramid. Two goose chilling in a cemetery, five feet apart because they're not gay. Please tell me y'all remember that vine. The piece. I don't think it's broken though. But yeah, that piece fell off. That's sad. Daniel Bertner. 1768 to 1861. Oh, I'm a little zoomed in on it. Sorry, I didn't realize that. This must be died at one years old. Must be his child. There's one, but that's like an infant. This must be his wife. 1853 to 1919. Oh no, this is Claude. This might be one of his children, but that I'm pretty sure is a baby, but that one was a baby. Age, one years. That was sad. He's updated their tombstones. Must be the family. It says, well done, thou good and faithful servant, enter thou into the joy of the Lord. Dr. Samuel Gordon Dabney, 1860 to 1935. Lou Allen Dabney. 1861 to 1947. So she 
can't really read it very much anymore. But this one's kind of has a little bird. It's cute. And then a little cross. I feel like these may be children. I don't know. I'm I'm not like I don't know, but they're so tiny. I've come to I've come to realize coming here a lot the smaller ones tend to be children especially the really old ones kind of cute and eerie and I don't know serene cute's not the right word I didn't mean to say cute but it's just like perfectly lined I don't know I really I feel like I could post up right here and just chill all day and read just, I don't know. I feel really calm right here. where our soldiers are buried in Lexington, Kentucky. You guys can pause this to read it if you want. town some of these monuments were like taken down and moved here because they were like slave owners and during the Black Lives Matter movements they removed them from public offices they moved them here um I'm going to show them to you um I was in support of them being removed from public offices um because why should slave owners be memorialized in good light in my opinion so I'm glad they were removed but I am going to show them to you. I'm not sure about that first one, but this one definitely was. I remember when it sat downtown on the courthouse before the remodel, and they removed it and they brought it down here. So um, there was talk about destroying it. They historians decided not to destroy it. They decided to um, keep it and leave it here in the cemetery. So that's that. Horse is cute though. Shitty owner, but horse is cute. This is cool. I don't really like the Confederate flag on it though. But yeah, again, guess where it belongs? In the cemetery. This is just part of the cemetery. Um, this is usually, I'm kind of sad right now, but I guess they've not bloomed yet. But this is usually a big circle of tulips and it's not blown up yet or grown up yet, whatever. I love that the sun's coming out. It is really cold today. But we're on our way over to Jim Barney's grave. Oh, I don't like this bridge. That scared me. So, Jim Varney is down here. Um, just with the regular folk. So, Jim Varney. There's usually a drink. I can't remember what it is sitting here, but they've left change here and all kinds of stuff. Um, yeah, this is where Jim Barney is buried in Lexington Cemetery. Um, I'll get the exact location of his grave if anybody wants to visit and be respectful. Um, but then again, I might not because some people are just mean and they'll tear it up. But um, somebody's left him. <laughs> If you've ever watched Ernest, you'll get some of the gifts of while they left there. Somebody left him a cigarette, William Shakespeare bracelet, some change. Some... But yeah, this is where Jim Varney is buried. The late great actor. Um, I know him from Ernest and Toy Story, but 
people know him from other things. It's really beautiful that he's tucked behind these beautiful cherry blossoms. So in the spring, it's really beautiful. And then he's got the other trees around him. So in the fall, he's got a really nice place plot that he's buried at. Plus, when you look on the other side of his grave, you have this beautiful view. Just really nice. I still have like an hour and a half that I'm killing <laughs> before my client gets here. Hopefully she'll get here earlier though because she's only like an hour away. And she said she was leaving her house a few minutes ago. So we'll see how fast she gets here. So maybe I only have to wait another hour, not an hour and a half. Yeah. This is going to be it for this video. If you'd like to see more videos like this um, and more of the cemetery, uh, leave a comment down below and I will come here and film more because we're not even a quarter of the way through this bad boy. Um, if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, comment. Um, tell me something positive about your day in the comments. Um, my name's Ashley. Again, if you like clicked halfway through and don't know who I am, that's me. I'm Ashley. I'm a professional cosplay photographer, Twitch affiliate, and TikToker. And I'll see you in the next video. And goodbye. Have a great day.